Baxter last week. Michael Matthews and Peyton Baxter, both were only 17 years old. A memorial continues to grow in their honor at the site of the crash. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Walsh, and here with me now is 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo. And Sheena, you went there today. There were letters, candles. It must have been just so sad for the teenagers. Exactly. Yeah. You can really see all the emotions laid out right in front of you. And Kate, it's really the age of the people involved that's rocking this community. And I even spoke with the police chief who says you don't have to know these victims personally to be impacted. 7722, when two lives were cut short. A memorial marks the spot on Salisbury Road in Foster where the deadly crash took place. This is a wound we all feel. Killing two 17 year olds, now identified as Michael Matthews and Peyton Baxter. Foster Police Chief David Bright says police were called to the back road for a rollover last week. The Foster Police Department feels it very deeply, and our officers over the weekend have uh, responded to Salisbury Road just to lend our support and speak with those that are grieving during this difficult time. There you'll find this. There's gifts, memories, and messages of love spread out for the two victims, with classmates stopping by, adding to the memorial growing by the day. This is something that will never be forgotten, and it just speaks to, to how, many, how many of those they've touched uh, in their lives, in their short lives, and it's uh, one of those things that really there are no words. Uh, it's it's something that's uh, it, it's felt very deeply. According to the superintendent, the teenagers were students at Ponagansett High School about to enter their senior year. The district offered grief counseling for anyone impacted, while authorities continue looking into what went wrong. Uh, the Rhode Island State Police assisted us. They handled the accident and the accident reconstruction. The Foster Police Department is currently investigating uh, what led up to this crash. And authorities say two others were in the car that crashed last week and they were sent to the hospital, but we're still waiting on an update to see how they're doing tonight. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.